Hey guys, my name is Courtney, but you might know me as the Flipping Nomad. Today I am at Keystone RV Company's headquarters in what I would call the coolest room of the entire building. This is their design studio, and this is where all of the interiors of the RVs that we love come to life. And they have opened their doors for us today to give us a sneak peek into how these RVs are designed and what goes into them. So why don't you come with me and we're gonna meet the designers. Hey, Wayne. Good to see you again. Thank you for having us. This is Amy and Marla, and these two women are the designers behind all of these uh, beautiful Keystone RVs. And there's so much that goes into some of these interiors. But why don't you tell us some, like, how you guys draw inspiration, and where is your where is your launching point for designing these interiors? We go to the Kitchen and Bath show every year. It shows all the um, trends that are coming up. Um, we're constantly taking pictures and referring back to that at a later date. Because um, we really, there's not much of a gap between what we do now and what we see at the show. So it's a great place for inspiration and... Um, yeah, and a lot of our larger suppliers will uh, host seminars on design trends. Um, right now they're doing a lot of webinars and we do uh, virtual meetings. We get inspiration from social media like everybody else. It's like you're looking at Pinterest, Instagram. Um, we follow the stuff that you're doing. We're seeing what is new out there. We're constantly um, researching when we're at work um, when we can and trying different websites and just checking everything out to see where the trends are headed, where we're at compared to the trends. And the old-fashioned way of just I love flipping through the latest uh, issues of modern farmhouse and house beautiful and I could go on and on but um, we also hear your voices uh, our product managers bring back information from what retail customers are asking for it's really cool to hear that you guys are getting inspiration from the same sources that I'm getting my inspiration from you know I, I'm working with pre-loved rigs that have older dated interiors and bringing them up to, to current day styles um, whereas you know we're looking at the same places for what are the, the current styles and is that kind of what we're seeing here tell, tell me about this awesome palette that I'm seeing on this table well yeah. this is 2021 20, this is um, some of the wood grains that we have chosen this year. As you can see, it's kind of a variety. It's kind yeah. of a mid-tone to light. Um, we're seeing a little more of the painted finishes, painted with glazed finishes, um, the lighter countertops as well. Uh, and I hardware. Love, love the mixture of hardware too. Yes. Different styles, got, finishes. We've got some black. And this one, we're um, trying to get that brushed kind of champagne gold color in too as well. It's beautiful so. and you know of course one of our signature styles is white cabinets and, and usually white walls too um, and so that of course this one here drew my eye completely because this looks like a, a cabinet door that that we would do on the aftermarket but you guys are able to implement this straight from the factory now which I think is a really cool piece showing you know how merged our our yeah. interiors are becoming. Yeah. 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 The gap is closing on that. It um, really is. Yeah. yeah it you is. just get to do it on a much larger scale. Yeah. <laughs> larger scale, but yeah. we have a few challenges. Yeah. 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 We do have challenges, and production's one, and they're becoming more innovative to where we can use white, where in the past that was, you know. It wasn't possible it even wasn't a few years ago. Yes. Which is a great point to how the technology um, of just the industry in general has kind of caught up to speed, which allows you to do a lot. Right. A, a lot yeah. more freedoms within interiors that you just didn't have in, in years prior. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of our design um, is driven on basically price of production. That's a huge part of, of it because we can go in um, restoration hardware and go, oh, I want that interior. But we have to kind of translate it to what will work and be functional and price conscious in the RV world. So there's a lot of challenges there, which is kind of fun. Yes. yes. You know, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, because you don't want to, you know, build this most beautiful interior, you know, a little bit like we did with the Ultimate Montana, but price somebody right out of it because right. the interior is so expensive. Production. Exactly. Yeah. Each, you yeah. know, trying to get those out the door, you know, with all of the components in it. Yeah, because so, there, there's a lot of other pieces that, you know, I've learned as a consumer. I've been an RV owner for six years that I just didn't realize that went into building these RVs, but you know, yeah. Keystone has been so gracious 
to opening the doors you know, to me and my team to see what goes into building them. It's been such an eye opener for me. What would be your, your favorite part of, of this process? Is it seeing the finished unit? Is it like reimagining the unit? It's really just putting it all together. Yeah. And then uh, that's the fun part. Um, and then the next milestone is getting production on board. And then the next milestone is seeing it all put together. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of steps. Yeah. It's a long process. Yeah. Um, we enjoy working with the product managers. We enjoy getting their feedback. Um, so it's it's quite a quite a thing to do from start to finish, and it takes quite a while. But and every product is completely different on how they build and rules and codes and what they can and can't do. So that's a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Very so true. you kind of have to adjust yeah. accordingly. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you ladies taking the time out of your very oh, busy welcome. schedule to sit down with me as a consumer. And I know it's all the other consumers online are really noticing the changes, even okay. the last couple years, especially 2021. Uh, with all, I, I love seeing all the grays and the, and the lighter tones here. You know, it's much different than the RVs of 10 years ago. You know, right. the the style that we work with on our pre-loved rig. So it's, it's really yeah. exciting to see. And thank you so much for taking the time oh, to show us. Oh, thank you. It's good seeing you again. It's so good to see you girls too.